Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So I am Ashley, a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, so don't get it twisted. With that being said, today's video is just going to be me testing a few new products that I purchased um, and just seeing what I think, what I feel, um, putting them on my face for you and your pleasure. Um, so let's pull this hair back and get started. Also, we're not going to mind the fact that I am in my PJs. Also, we're not going to mind that I'm in my pajamas. It's a day. Um, I'm having a day, okay? I also see that TikTok thing that I want to try, so where we're at so I'm going to prime my skin I am using the Farsali glass skin um, if you are a fan of the Becca First Light Primer, the purple one, I think is what is the First Light, or is it the Backlight? I always get them mixed up. Anyways, it's the Becca Purple Primer. I think this one is pretty freaking comparable to that. The glow that it gives, the tack that it gives, I just feel like this one is pretty stinking comparable to that one. I'm having like a day first off i don't know why my eye looks weird on camera in person it's fine it's a little darker than normal but like it looks severely irritated on camera and it's not actually irritating anyway go in with my becca under eye brightening corrector and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this under the eye just to get rid of some of my dark circles so if I feel if I'm a little low energy today some days I'm like super hyped because I've drink way too much coffee and other days like today I am low energy we are in the process of sleep training and your girl is going through it. My kids have been, <sighs> let's just say, it's a struggle. So like we started the first day and I caved and gave in and I let them like end up back in mommy's bed co-sleeping. And then the second day I did it during nap time and it just kind of was like, <sighs> I struggled then too. And then on day today, I we have yet to do nap time. And then last night, because last night was day two, they were okay at first um, in their own little bed. And then they're used to me doing the sleep training. They're not used to daddy doing sleep training. So I think that's where we went like, not wrong, but I think that's like where they thought they could get away with it. Anyway, so my husband, came to let me go to the restroom and while I was in the restroom my son started like screaming bloody murder and so our form of sleep training I know there are the people who like leave their babies and let themselves soothe and whatever mine are a little older they're 15 months so I will come in here and like rub their backs or like rub their feet or hold their hand and like talk them through um self-soothing um but yeah, so I do let them like cry and fuss because I'm letting them figure it out. But I'm also right here, like helping them through it, if that makes sense. But anyways, so my husband was in here and I told him like, you kind of got to keep like laying them down because otherwise they're going to try and climb out. And he is like me and soft hearted. Um... So he was just kind of like letting my my youngest twin 
cling to him and so while he was letting the youngest son cling to him the oldest twin was like hey does this mean we can get out and so they were like screaming really bad and then when I finally came back and like tag teamed him out to me come in um they had been kind of fussing for like 30 minutes but they weren't like they were like losing it with him for like 10 minutes and I came in and then I was like look if I can't get them to settle down in 20 minutes I'm going to have to take them out and try and settle them and then put them back in but when I took them out they were so like <laughs> my little heart broke and I just couldn't put them back in the bed so they won again needless to say so we're on day three we'll see how this goes tonight um I put the Fenty color bright fix and I'm going in with Chantikai right now the cushion foundation I mean nobody probably really cares as to what I'm using on my face and I'm sure you guys probably don't care about our sleep journey <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway you're probably here for the Mario and the Tim Talia palette which I know these are not the newest things on the market but they intrigued me and I wanted them and so they're newer and I wanted them so but yeah so if I'm a little bit low energy that is why and then I've been like trying to bust out a ton of videos because I'm planning to go visit my sister soon. I think for a couple videos I've been saying that now. But I really am planning to go get visit my sister. It's just been one thing after another. And I haven't gotten a chance to get up there to visit her. Because we're driving the like 16 hours. We're driving it. Um, pray for me. Because I will be having my kids in the vehicle as I drive. Um, but yeah, it should be a fun little adventure. But yeah, we, um, this is like seriously one of my favorite foundations. It doesn't cover very much. I mean, it's like the lowest amount of coverage, but something about this foundation just... And it does have its own little dry down. So I don't really set set it with powder. I will kind of go in and like give a little set with powder. But I don't really set it with powder because it has. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try the By Mario Sculpting Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Shaping. Shaping stick, and I'm just going to right here and here and here. And I think I'm gonna start with that and like just work on this side, and we'll we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start on my forehead, and I'm literally just going to press. I don't want to drag or anything. That blended in super nicely. Well, that worked beautiful. I mean, like, okay, come on now. Let's see, do we have it in here? I do. So I don't really normally use brushes to do anything other than set and maybe powder, but we're going to try today for the sake of my brush users. And we're going to, I don't really have a proper brush. This is a highlighting brush. I, as you can see, I don't even have the correct brush to do this because I don't, I don't normally do this and I'm just kind of dabbing. I don't want to drag because I don't want to disrupt anything underneath. That is so beautiful. Like, I 
beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Fenty cream bronzer and the Huda Beauty Tantor, like a perfect medium between the two. Like if they married, had a baby, this is what this would be. And the littlest amount literally goes a long way. Like let me see it up close if it disrupted anything. It didn't disrupt anything under it. I like that. I don't normally, but for the sake of saying I did. Get rid of the french fries that I ate the other day. <laughs> I mean like I don't normally contour my nose I won't normally just do like right under here but like let's I don't know how I feel I feel like this is gonna make it hard but I'm gonna push it up just a little bit and try and use the edge of it and see I feel so nervous I mean, my, my lines are not the straightest, but it gets a pretty precise line, to be honest, with you. If you hear my son, he is trying to get his daddy to put him back in a bathtub. My sons, I don't know if anyone else's kids are like this, but we live in the South, okay? And it gets hot. This humidity be killing people out here. It's hot. And my sons don't like to be hot. So, if they can survive in a bathtub all day long and we let them, they would stay in a bathtub all day long. Okay, I really like this a lot, actually. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't know what I thought like did I think I was gonna hate it no but did I think that it was gonna be this easy and I'm not a brush user so the fact that I used a brush and it didn't look dry it doesn't it didn't pull up anything did I just find my new favorite I don't know but she's up there I hope you can't hear this because YouTube will be mad. Going in with a little bit of cottage life. If y'all have any tips for like sleep training, I also don't know if it's quite for us. I know each person is different, each baby is different, and like what might work for me may not work for you and your family, but like if you have any tips and tricks if you've done sleep training, Please leave them in the comment section. I'm not quite sure if sleep training is for us or not. It may not be for us, but my cat. But yeah, 
sleep training may not be for us. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Bite Size in White Peach. I love this light peachy toned blush. For like three or four bucks, these are super cute little blush highlight duos, just for the record. And I know they have like five or six different colors. I need this thing is an elf. It's pigmented. It's a pigmented blush. <gasps> I'm so happy that it's cheap because I would have been so mad. Do you see what I just did? Do we see this? <sighs> but this highlighter, like blinding, okay, hello. But it's also kind of like on the natural highlight side. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's naturally highlighty. I'm going to top it a little bit with the flirtatious from Pat McGrath because this is a little more toned down neutral and I want a little bit more neutral because I don't know what I'm going to do on the eyes with the Tim Ta Tim Talia palette okay and I'm back browser on and we are ready for the look with the Tim Talia palette so I am totally feeling this pink and this like deep purple gray color so what's gonna happen here so what's gonna happen no dirty <sighs> it's dirty it's dirty you can't eat that so what's gonna happen is, okay, I know so yeah so what's gonna happen is I'm going to first pop into October Odyssey I'm not doing a review because I already know that I love Sydney Grace eyeshadows. Um, this is more so, just, more so just to show off the new palette that I got. Now, and I'm gonna pop into October Odyssey and I'm gonna pop this right in just above the crease and kinda into the crease area. If you hear my children fighting, they're literally fighting over the tablet. But they're not supposed to be on it. I don't control screen time or any of that, but I normally try to keep screen time till nighttime. Or like evening time as like a wind down. They get like a couple hours. So, while I like cook dinner or something. This shade is so beautiful. Okay, and bringing the same color onto the lower lash line. Okay, now going in with that Infinity Echoes, which is this beautiful, like, purpled gray tone. I'm going to just pop this on the outer crease. And I kind of tilt my head back so I can see where my crease is and just work this just below the October Odyssey shade. And I'm going to bring this in the inside. And I'm holding kind of low and just kind of pressing this shade where I want it. And then kind of just in tiny circular motions just... Oh, my son is crying because my daughter won't give him that tablet. They have like tiny little baby games on there and they know that they have baby games on there. and she has big girl games on there and she likes to hoard it so if you hear the screaming 
That is what that's for. One of them is attacking her. Because they're tired of her. And she doesn't realize that they're getting bigger. And like their hits will start to hurt. And they're going to start attacking her. Because she's so greedy with that tablet. Uh, she'll learn. That's fine. Ow. Ow. Yeah. She also picks on them because they're smaller. So I'm going to go in with this Sakura Glow shade. And I'm going to tap that right there on the center. Oh. Okay. What dreams are made of right here? What all of my dreams have been waiting for? I didn't even know I needed it. Now I'm going to go in with that Lunar... Illumination. It's this, this, it's this like light. <gasps> Ooh, it's like this light um, lavender grade shade. Ooh, so stunning. I'm popping this right at the bottom. Do you see what I see? Do we see the same thing? Are we both seeing that? This palette. I mean, it is Sydney Grace quality through and through. The color story is A1. I feel like if you are a beginner into makeup and you're looking, or you're a neutral lover looking to get into color, this is what you want because it is like such neutral colors that you can and they're so light and easy to work with that this almost blends out to like the lightest wash of color i just think this palette is everything to be honest plus i'm pretty sure this is her dog that passed away on the cover don't quote me on that i may be completely wrong i know nothing and i claim to know nothing going to pop on some Ma uh, waterline liner and mascara and lashes and I will be back okay and we're back I didn't end up throwing on lashes because I just didn't feel like it the liner that I used is the NYX epic wear liner and periwinkle pop I just felt like it totally went with that lunar illumination shade so I totally actually think that this little like try on the two new products that I have is like serving me every stinking thing. Like, can we talk about this shadow? Oh, I can't. I love it. Uh, on my lips is the Pillow Talk and Lip Cheat in medium and the medium pillow talk lipstick and then mm, i told you liner <laughs> and that completes today's look i honestly if you have tried the tantor and you thought that it was a little too hard to work with or if you tried the fenty cream bronzer and you thought it was a little too eat like much or too light this is like literally a happy medium and like i will even show you so this is the makeup by mario sculpting stick here is the fenty cream bronzer don't mind mine is like literally on its last leg can you tell i love this this is in the shade three it's like super like emollient i don't know how to explain it it's got, it's not grease, it's not oil, but it's more on the greasy, greasier side, greasy. And then this one is like the pigment and it's more matte. So like, see, this is more matte. This one has more of that dew to it. And then this is like the happy medium. Like it's like matte, but not. Um, and it's got the pigmentation. Um, so like this, is the by makeup by Mario this is the Fenty and this is the Huda as you can see the Huda is like more of a matte formulation 
and then this one is like the creamiest of them all like the um um dewy looking of them all and then this one is just like a nice happy like medium like a medium ground like these two had the baby and this is what we got i love this um i actually love all three so <laughs> um there's a time and a place for all of them they're all amazing products um but yeah i like that that one is kind of like the the middle ground because sometimes i feel like the huda is a little too matte and then sometimes i feel like the fenty is a little too creamy and that one kind of like had a nice little like middle ground um let me see or let me know if you would like to see them on the face like side by side like the the makeup by mario against the huda or the huda against the fenty or whatever it may be with that being said that's all for today's video and i what <laughs> That's, with that being said, that's all for today's video. If you made it this far in the video, drop some comments of what you thought of the Makeup by Mario or the um, Tim Talia palette. Do you have either of those? Also, leave me some pink heart emojis or some pandas um, in the comment section if you made it this far. And that's all for today's video and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye!